Hello, everyone. I hope you're okay. Let's start your analysis, analysis uh, for gold uh, for this coming week. So first of all, let's see what's happening in the month. All right. In fact, let me start uh, with the Forex factory for the week. And starting from the 22nd of July until uh we got Friday 26th, 26th of July. So 22nd to uh, 26th. This last week of the month. And you can see there are some heavy impact news in different places. Normally we're interested in uh, the news in coal, uh, US dollar. So here we got Chinese yen news if you trade in Chinese, but anyway, we don't normally. Uh, we have gold here, sorry, US dollar here, and that's on uh, Tuesday, medium pack news. So all these are medium pack and heavy pack news uh, showing here and we go Wednesday Euro news I have quite a few news for Euro and then GBP uh, we've got quite heavy, quite heavy impact news that's uh, Wednesday and Thursday uh, this is sorry but uh, Card as well, and Thursday we got US dollar have impact news, advanced GDP, and un unemployment claims. That's Thursday. Let's see for the Friday. Sorry. Yeah, Friday we have have impact news, US dollar, gold price index, and revised UM, that's uh, the medium impact UM consumer. Sentiment. So these are the news for Friday. And medium impact, we've got G20 meetings. So that's uh, for, as far as the news are concerned. And uh, let's go to a chart and see what's happening in the market. So starting from monthly, here, this monthly range was broken. And we were expecting some sharp movement because one data point, second data point, third, fourth. See, we got four data points uh, have been broken. 2062 and the market went how much nearly almost 5000 pips there's uh, quite a lot of movement on one two three four five almost five months now we definitely can expect this retracement However, we'll, uh, if we go to smaller time frame, we have a better picture. Is in smaller time frame, which is the next one is weekly. Clearly, we have this uh, movement here, and you clearly can see that it has this weekly candle has been close inside in uh, this zone. So what does that mean? That my market is still a bearish. This is a bullish momentum has broken. And market is, is coming into bearish mode. However, going to smaller time frame daily, we have more clear picture. The daily,
right. You can see in daily that market is testing this level here. Currently, in daily, we can expect a bounce from here, according to daily. Look further into it. Yes. Now, what situation would uh, we see here? Let me delete all this. And... You can see that this area important is an important area. But if we go into four hour, see we have these important data points here, 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 here. So if I I will see, if I see a move a candle in small even one hour this range is broken this range to the downside and then we definitely expect market to come down to this level here twenty three eighty because this is an area of uh, you can say order block or fair value gap here as well. Uh, so we can see that market can come to this level. So that's uh, the situation in four hours. But let me go back on to daily and monthly again. And I want to show you something that in monthly, we have seen these multiple kind of multiple rejections. And uh, if the candle is closed, Monthly candle, which is only one week left, which is 23. Uh, this area is 23, 26. So if I put a line here, market closed around here somewhere, 23, 20 ish. Then what we will see in that this rejection is converted into this. Uh, evening star, which we already have an evening star, yeah, with double evening star, that would be. But definitely, we can see, uh, see the market around 20, 2100, uh, 20, in fact, 20, between 20 and 2100. Uh, you see in weekly further because weekly this range will be broken this range has to be broken and 20 2280 level has to be broken to go to 2180 and then 2023 levels so that's a situation at the moment but I, as i said in before that in four hours we definitely see we definitely see some data points here that these data points Yeah, show that the possible rejection from and if not, then when, as you can see in daily, the market may come down here around this area. Or if we go back again to four hour, you have more clear this area. So let's see how the market moves. Uh, I mean, there are different scenarios. If it is rejection from here, is done then as you can see that possible it we have a test of this area in four hours we see that this is an area because this area was broken and then our good may keep going down however if this area is broken um, to the upside And we can see movement to the upside. Also, we see 
let me see any other pattern. In six hours, we'll see this M pattern. And this M pattern can be completed to the upside as well. So this is multiple ways of looking at it. The main thing what you have to look at the support and resistance levels and the momentum in the market before, before you can take any trades. And going to weekly and then using a FIB level on this leg, this is a clear movement. We we'll see that uh, the, some important areas are this 0 0.5 and 0 0.61. These are some these are two important levels in weekly. And I remove my FIB levels. Then you see this level is 2380. And this level is 2367. So these are quite important levels. And if I go into whether into daily and four hours, and if you can see in daily, this level is important level. So we are already expecting rejection from here around this area, like 23.93 and we got 23.88. So we got uh, some sort of rejection from here already. It may liquidate this and take the, take the stop loss and come down and may go up again. But anyway, but this area is a very important area. Let me... Uh, so 0 0.5, 0 0.61 levels. So this area is an important area. Right. And, uh, so it is between 24 and between 2366. So, so we can see a huge reaction from here. And if the market is you broken broken this these levels we we'll definitely see you'll we'll see to the movement to the downside but also have you noticed one thing the way the market is moving So you can come like come and move like that. So let's see. Nothing is final. Uh, we only use probabilities, and um, for the Monday we will for day trading we can look for smaller opportunities, small smaller time frame, and look for these levels which I mentioned here already. So this level is broken and. The retest we definitely can see move to the bottom side and hair. And if this level is broken, the next area will be this because it's got more data points here. So always look for the multiple data points um, here. Sorry, the problem and uh, just. Just okay. Here we got data point. Here we got data point. Here we got data point. Here, so here we got some data point. This is a bit further. So if it may come down before a bit down to combine all these, and then we may see rejection. But and then maybe it will take this, this, this liquidity down here, and maybe to the upside and. Keep doing this. And if we want to keep the bearish momentum. Right. So I'll leave it to it, guys. I hope it's useful and you have a good day. Good night. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.